Hello and welcome to the video on creating a new report using BMC Remedy Smart Reporting. This video describes how to create a new drill down report, add filters and charts to it, and then finally create a broadcast or schedule for the report. Mary Mann, the IT manager, wants to create a report to review the incident backlogs for her team so that she can keep track of her team's progress from time to time. She wants to create a report to view the number of incidents for each assigned support company that will drill down to allow her to check the status of the tickets for each assignee. On the reporting console, she selects the Create Report option. On the Create New Report screen, she selects the drag and drop method for creating the report. Currently, this is the only method for creating a report using BMC Remedy Smart Reporting. Mary wants to create a report that she can use on a regular basis. If she wanted to create a single use report, she would have selected the an ad hoc report option to create it. By default, ad hoc reports are not automatically saved. From the lower half of the screen, on the list of the BMC Remedy AR system data connections, she selects the incident management view. On the top of the report builder page that is displayed, Mary can see the different steps of the report building process. These include data, charts, and output. She starts building her report at the data stage where she defines the data she wants to include in the report. She then continues with the charts and output phases as she progresses with the creation of her report. On the data page, the left panel displays the list of available fields that Mary can add to this report. In the middle panel, different options are available to analyze the data. By default, the drill down option is selected from the analysis style section. Mary can set other options for the report data, but those are not discussed in this video. Mary drags and drops the assigned support company company and priority fields to the column section. She also adds the count number of incidents aggregate field. As Mary adds fields to the columns, sample data is displayed giving her a preview of what the report data will actually look like. Since she expects that the volume of the data will be large, she scrolls down to the report data section and turns off the auto refresh option. Generating a preview of large volumes of data may impact the report designing experience. Mary adds the status field to the filters section so that she can filter the report based on the status of the incidents. She clicks the setting links to define the filter settings. On the configure filters page, from the drop-down list, she selects in list so that all the values defined for the fields are available as filters. Since she wants to be able to view the report for any status, she clicks define value and selects the user prompt option. She then closes the filter settings and moves to the charts phase of the report. From the select chart type option, she selects the vertical column option under columns report. Then, from the reports field, she adds the assigned support company to the horizontal axis and the count number of incidents to the vertical axis. A sample of the report chart is displayed on the screen. She clicks the title icon from the timeline and selects custom from the title contents option. She enters the custom title to be displayed for the report and closes the title screen to return to the report. She then clicks the output option to design the layout of the report. There are multiple formatting options available for the chart. Refer to the BMC online technical documentation for more details about this feature. On the output screen, Mary is prompted to select the status filters for which she wants to view the report data. She selects the status from the filters displayed and verifies that the report displays as per her requirements. 
after she completes creating the report she saves the report she updates the report settings providing a name for the report selecting the category under which it be saved and providing access rights for it she then goes ahead and activates the report mary wants to make sure that this report is broadcast to the managers on a weekly basis so that they can review the trend of incident requests for her team she knows that beth the administrator has already enabled broadcast and subscriptions for the ar system data source on the output tab she clicks the broadcast icon she clicks add and selects broadcasts to define a broadcast schedule for the report on the broadcast dialog box mary adds recipients to who the information needs to be sent she starts to type the name of the recipient and selects the appropriate person from the suggestions display she repeats this process for each recipient she wants to add since her report requires user inputs she needs to define if she wants to send current filter values taken from the last drawn report or use the defined default value of the filter she also selects the values for the frequency of the report she saves her broadcast similarly mary can add a subscription for her report broadcasts are sent to the email addresses defined in the system while subscribing to a report will ensure that you receive updates about the report in your bmc remedy smart reporting inbox mary has completed creating her report and creating the broadcasts and subscribing for the report she can now add this report to an existing dashboard tab for details about adding your report to a dashboard please see our video about creating a new dashboard